Hello, 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 hello my viewers. Uh, I'm back again today with another video. I hope everywhere you are feeling very well. Uh, I'm back again today. Here it's a in Klongo. You know, I'm one of those people who are making content uh, and inform students about the Funzaru Shaka Pazara program. So, uh, this is my dedication. Uh, I would like you to subscribe. So, you know, as much as I have, just also give back by subscribing, liking the videos, uh, and also you can set the notification so that whenever you need information, you get notified. Uh, some of, I know most of you might be using this Pazara. And I will always update you what is happening. If you are subscribed, you always uh, have the information with you. So everyone is free to ask any question in the comments below, and then also I will I will, I will respond. I think I've responded to all the questions that I've been asking so far. Even if I take time, also you can email me. You are very welcome. You can call me. You can WhatsApp me at any time. So um, please subscribe and make sure that you're part of this community, and then you get updated all the time. So, I, have, I want to clarify something, uh, that's why I made this video, I received questions, people were asking uh, about, uh, especially there were those who did another course but did not finish, but now they are willing to do Bachelor of Education, measuring in those priority subjects and using Kunza Vesha Papasa. Alright, let me start by saying, who qualifies for Kunza Vesha Papasa uh, program? A candidate who qualifies for Funza Rishaka Bazaari program is a candidate who is less than 30 years of age or will be less than, will be 30 and less by the time he or she do, uh, does uh, uh, the fourth year. Number two, you must demonstrate a good academic uh, ability, meaning that we should have got something like level 4 going upward, especially to those majors that you want to major on. Uh, three, uh, you must apply for this bursary. You must apply for this bursary. Like now, the applications are open. I urge everyone to open it to, to apply. Returners, please let us apply before the 30th of November. Those who are willing to begin their first year, do not rush, wait for your results and your acceptance, and your acceptance in the university, therefore you can make it. Uh, you will get, you will know everything before the, the applications are closed. So, without saying a lot of things, let me just say that, to answer the question, uh, if you have done a certain course, you were funded by an SFAS. And by uh, several, several, several reasons, you couldn't finish that course. Um, and you leave that course. And now you want to start with a Funza Rishaka Pasa. Or you want to do education using Funza Rishaka Pasa program. You are very welcome. Funza Rishaka doesn't want people who have already have qualification. So even if you can do uh, maybe Bachelor of Sciences, and then you drop out, you are using NS first, and then maybe go and do law, and maybe drop out and then now you try you want to do education and want to prioritize in those subjects that are things that Shaka is looking for. Therefore you are more than welcome. You can come because it, because you have not received any qualification or you are not a graduate, therefore you still stand to be given an opportunity as a South African citizen to apply for this bazaar. As long as you're within the age limit and also uh, you uh, demonstrate that uh, academic uh, capability, you qualify academically. So, I think I'm very clear on that one. So, to come again to PGCE, PGCE, Funza Lushaka Bazaar, does not fund PGCE students any longer. This has started this year. So, anyone who wants to do PGCE, please be aware about this. Because when you do PGCE already, it means you have a degree, you have a qualification somewhere, and then you want to do that one year PGCE which is against what Funza Lushaka has came up with now. So, Basara will be given to undergraduate students who are doing Bachelor of Education and they have no other qualification except that qualification. So, that, I, I, and it, it makes sense. Look, there are students who are from high school, there are students who have no, who have no qualification and they deserve that person. And someone has already have something. So, like, let us not 
close this space. I'm not saying it's not good to give a, a chance, but I'm saying, but to those who have not been into the space, those who are not graduates, let us give a, a, the first preference to them. Because you, you have already everything, or you have something. So I, it, it makes sense, it makes sense. So I think I'm very clear on this one. So yeah, let us to, to cut it short. I think I've answered the question. If you have, if you have no, if you are not a graduate, you have no any qualification, you are allowed to apply for Funza um, Nshakapasari program. If you want to uh, 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 do education in those particular yeah. subjects. So I, I I thank you for listening to my video, taking your time to listen to this video, and I want to uh, remind you to subscribe and like my channel again. Uh, I'm dedicated to release more videos, and if you have questions, please you're welcome. Put the comment, and then I will reply. Thank you very much. Bye bye.